And welcome to Sans or Tucker lesson four. All right, in this lesson today, we're gonna learn about meats and we're gonna learn about your carbs. And I'm using carbs as a really big, all encompassing term here for also junk food. So <laughs> you're gonna have your breads and you're also gonna have your candies. All right, so let's get going with meats. So, meat, you wanna take the fleshy part of your hand in between your thumb and your next finger right here. Pinch it, meat. You knew that, you knew that, either way it's acceptable. Meat. This is also the sign for flesh. It is also the sign for steak. So meat, flesh, steak. You got three words, one sign. The way you're gonna tell the difference is in your context. All right, chicken. Chicken is the same sign for when you are actually see a chicken that's out there running around on the ground in the farm. It's the same exact sign. Again, you're going to be able to tell the difference in the context, whether you're talking about the animal, the live living animal chicken, or the chicken that you're about to eat for dinner. So, shrimp, 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 shrimp. All of them are acceptable. And you can be your little finger, be your big finger. Um, if you're talking about popcorn shrimp, maybe your little finger. If you're talking about the big jumbo shrimp, maybe your big finger. That would be my suggestion if you're wanting to be really specific. Fish. Fish. I really like the sign fish. It's actually one of my favorite signs. Fish. Flat hand. Move it. Uh, pork. Pork is, there's about three ways you can do it. Pig meat. Okay. Pig meat. You can do pork. Chop kind of draw it out, or you can just do pork. So you kind of have your options um, on what would work best for you at home. Ham, H-A-M, go finger spell it. A good rule of thumb is if it's three letters or less, you're gonna finger spell it. Maybe even four letters or less, you're gonna finger spell it. So the name, Sam, S-A-M, you're gonna finger spell it. Ham, H-A-M, um, even Echo, E-C-H-O, a lot of people will still finger spell those things out. Um, also, if you were looking in that dictionary and you can't find the sign, if you Googled it and you can't find the sign, it's most likely you're going to finger spell it out. You can be your best bet. Um, so, ham, H A M. Another reason to know your ABCs. Okay? And if you want to be very specific too, you can go pig, pig, um, meat, ham, if you want to get really, really, really like. Very specific, okay. very nitpicky. Bacon, bacon. Two fingers, your U hand shape, and you're gonna wave them like your bacon. Sausage, thanks, the old timey sausage links. Sausage, that'll work. I have seen people do that, that'll work too, but sausage. Hot dog has two signs. Hot dog, if you're putting it in the bun, hot dog, or sausage works for hot dog. Either one, they're both acceptable. Hot dog, hot dog. Eggs, egg. You take U hand shape, stack it on top of each other, break it, egg. And there's no context for scrambled, fried, um, poached omelet, there's no context for that. If you're wanting to say you want to scramble your eggs, you might want to be like mixed stir eggs. You could do flip for fried eggs. Um, you could do boil for poached egg. If you're wanting to get really, or, or even boiled for hard boiled egg. You could even go hard egg maybe. Um, but I personally don't know context. If you do, put in the comments below. Turkey. Because um, at home we eat turkey. Um, they're a little... Wobble, turkey. So G hand shape, turkey, turkey. Deer, deer. You can drop a hand if you need to and do deer if you need to. So deer. Hamburger. And I'm making that sound so you at home know that we're going together like you're patting out the patties. 
marriage is like this is my wife so to keep those two signs separate you don't hamburger your husband so and if he did something's really wrong <laughs> so like marriage hamburger you're gonna actually make the patty thing going so hamburger seafood you're gonna actually finger spell out s-e-a food or you could do fish eat and then you can get specific after that um lobster lobster crab it's gonna be the same time lobster and crab probably even crawfish too if you're gonna go down that road okay so very quick review on our meats meat steak flush chicken shrimp shrimp pork ham bacon sausage hot dog or hot dog eggs fish turkey deer seafood or seafood lobster crab crawfish all right now our next thing is our carbs our junk food our breads so this is not going to be an, an all-encompassing i echo put all of the carbs in there because we'd be here all day and it'd be like a two hour long video but um this is kind of a really quick down and dirty list so if there's anything that you want specific that I've left off, um, shoot me a text, put it in the comments below, that kind of thing. So, all right, bread. Bread is like your sliced meat. I've seen this a few times, like if it's a big loaf and they've done it like that, like you're, that's usually used for like if you're cutting a log, that kind of thing, but bread. Muffin, cake, cupcake, um, cupcake, you kind of come up a little bit like it's got a little icing muffin I have seen cupcake used for muffin but I've, most people will finger spell out the difference between them but at, at home if you don't do cupcakes a lot and you do muffin I think it'd probably work okay at your house cake and cakes like a big cupcake so you're gonna get taller with it cake pancake pancake you can do like batter pouring in there and flipping if you want to get specific. I've also seen people do like the stacks and then pour on top for pancakes. Again, it depends on your context. Cracker, it's kind of a funny sign. Cracker. And you're going to knock the hard part of your elbow with the A handshake. So, cracker. Cracker. cookies cookie and again try not to get that confused with cake and cupcake and all those cupcake you're gonna come up a little bit cake you're growing even taller cookie you're staying put because you're actually cutting that out of the dough so cookie candy candy is it's in your tooth it's gonna rot your teeth so that's actually the sign for candy is it's a dentist drilling on your tooth so candy and you kind of smile because it's sweet so candy. Not to be confused with sour, which is like you make a face with, but candy. Ice cream. Ice cream. Think ice cream cone, you're holding it and you're licking it, you're eating it. Ice cream. Pizza. There's a few signs for pizza. It can be a P in the Z handshake. It can be like you're holding a slice of pizza. It's your B hand shape and you kind of bend it over like that and you're putting it in your mouth. Or it can be a Z, I've seen that. So pick the one that works best for you at home. Um, it can even be a pizza pie. I mean, whatever works best for you at home. Personally, I like the P, P hand shape and you're drawing a Z with your pointer finger. That's what I've always used. So you're probably gonna see me use that in the future for pizza. Sandwich. You're gonna stack your hands, um, bent, bent open hand shape, 
you're gonna stack them on top of each other and you're gonna eat it. Sandwich. That's how it's gonna look. You can also do like you're grabbing a sandwich and eating it. You can do that too. Seen both, they both work. P B and J. P B J. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, and it's because it sticks to the roof of your mouth. So peanut butter, like you're pulling it off the roof of your mouth. If you're wanting to get really specific, and then you can go like jam. Jam for you know, rubbing it on there. And um, but a lot of times at school we just spit fingers butt out PBJ. Gum. And try to make the chewing motion like you're actually chewing gum. Cereal. Cereal, not to be confused with shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp can go either way. Um, a lot of people do it this way so they don't confuse it with cereal. Shrimp comes in more out away from your body. Shrimp, and more a little bit slightly lower than your chin. Shrimp, shrimp. Cereal is going to be closer to your mouth. Cereal. Across your chin, across your mouth area. Cereal. Oatmeal, you're going to fingers pull out. O A T. M E A L. And your fingers fall out over them. Macaroni and cheese. Okay. So cheese. And you go mac and cheese. You could make something at home where you're actually going mac cheese, something like that with an M and a cheese. You can be creative. You can do spaghetti, which is going to be our next sign. Spaghetti. And it's for the little angel hair, the noodles, and they're all kind of everywhere. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. And then you could go cheese with it to kind of be, it's going to be that pasta with the cheese. If you're not wanting to confuse the two signs, which could happen, you could just stick with spaghetti and then do M-A-C, mac, cheese. Or if you want to do M with the cheese. You can get a little bit creative in your own home and do a little bit of own home signing if you want. All right, really quick review. Your carb slash junk food. Bread. Sliced it. Muffin. Cupcake. Kind of do this come up a little bit. Cake. Cookie. Stays close. Not going to come up at all. Cookie. Cracker. Candy, pizza, pizza, ice cream, ice cream, sandwich, 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 PBJ, peanut butter, gum, cereal, oatmeal. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese, spaghetti, spaghetti. Okay, so that's our really quick review of our meats and our carbs. Um, if you, if I left out something, put it in the comments below, I'll try to get back to you. Um, if there's something that you've seen a little bit different, you can put that in the comments below. Um, we're really open to suggestions, that kind of thing. Or if there's a word that you're like, she totally left out this. If you, if you got my number, call me, text me. I'll let you know. And if not, put it in the comments below and I'll add it in. Um, please subscribe. And please hit the little bell so you get the notifications whenever we have a new video up and running. Thank you so much to Kevin, my production assistant. Um, and please remember in all your comments uh, to keep everything family friendly, for it is for my nephew. And thank you all for watching. Bye.